Hey, I'm Kev Kim. So welcome back to MotoGP 20. Has my frame is developed. If we go ahead in the calendar, there we go. Development of two components for the frame. So if we look at research and development, we can maybe look at getting this developed now. And can we look at the other side? Doesn't look like it. Then it looks like that's good enough for development. So we'll keep with that. So that'll take four weeks. And then we still have two weeks for the engine as well. And then one week for the kind of node to be developed as well. So yeah, we've got good developments going on for the buy. Let's see if the improved frame will help us on well, the circle of the race. And go Nieto. As we are at the top, but this time by just a 10. So it's very close here in the race. Uh, so we had a Suzuki, Mazia, Antonelli, Foggia, Fernati, Vietti, Alonso Lopez, doing good on home turf, Ed Amino, Tatai rounding out the top 10, Ed Abagura, Salak, McPhee, and Baltis as well. So maybe we're looking for Arena, Sakoba, Yamanaka, and Garcia to be joining us in qualifying two maybe it's the Saki. what are you doing in the last bud so let's find out then if they did join us as uh, so we've got arenas Sasaki, alcoba and yamanaka what the hell how does Sasaki pulled out of the bag it was a bit weird using medium mediums for qualifying but let's see what we can do on two that's it go down the front stretch I well, just found in practice, medium meters work much better and the temperature as well being over 100 but under 111 degrees. That's what I recommend as well for us to use. So this first set to all right, last set to regain time, middle two set to slow. So this one. And then the one coming up out the hairpin towards the final set to pull the double right hand is not as good for us. So let's see what we can do. So you really want to let the bike rotate around that corner. We didn't immediately let go of the brakes there. Break way too much. And as we approach this left hand, they're very tricky, it feels like. But really, you just got to brake early. Like, dab the brakes, not hold them. Get the bike early into the apex, into the corner. And so, half a ten by Mazzy, on a 48. Low 48, so Suzuki. Does it go flat out? Just notice with the fuel, we might have to do that later. As we mess up the final corner. And that means we do a high 48. Poor, poor end. So we're going in. Our second lap, our final lap as well. In qualifying two. We're on the edges of the top ten at the moment. But that is not really good enough. We define almost seven tenths to match and Suzuki right at the front. Uh, it surprised me how many quarters are like flat out now round here. Like easy for that. There's uh, two tenths up. Good start. Oh, that corner is a bit like that left hander where you just dab the brakes, but because you're up here, you can get on the power so early. Uh, as well, and you've got a good camber as well to get the bike in for a late apex, a straight line to run. Down the back straight. And so still in the red. That's what we need to be. But this set will probably be in the orange. So they go nicely down.
There you go, 1600s down. It's hopefully where we gain it back and take pole. Is he really starting to make it to the final corner? Went a bit wide, but we've got a fantastic exit and easy, easy. As we're on pole ahead, it was a only running into the 47. So we've got Foggia, Mino, Mazia, and Alonso Lopez. Two Spaniards on the second row, and then we've got Vietti, Bernardi, and Antonelli for an all Italian third row ahead of McPhee, who rounds out the top 10 in the Salic and Arenas. Then Bauter's head of Tata and Agua, and then Sasaki, Alcoba, and Namanaka. So for the race, then we might do what we did before put the fuel up. Let's make that nine laps. If the tyres, looking at the temperature, it's definitely going to be a medium, medium race. As you can see, we've worn quite a lot of the mediums on the front, though. Could we get away with a soft? Probably not, because the temperature is actually in the higher part of that kind of temperature range for. The tyres, so we probably have to go with these used mediums, which I don't really want to say having used mediums. At least we've got new mediums for the rear, though. And we'll see what everybody else choose. So Suzuki also with us, Foggy has hard medium, Antonelli and Lopez with medium soft on the rear. Very interesting. We've got medium hards for McPhee and Salad, medium soft for Suzuki. So I said I want to cut a bike that rotates a bit. Then Fernandez and Powell do soft mediums, but this like medium medium is the way to go for almost everyone here. Medium soft for Binder, medium hard for Ujigo, soft medium for Tuba. So we are revving up at the start then. Timed it perfectly. Uh, so we've got eight laps here in the res. Now, unfortunately for us, we're probably not going to get be able to get away from everyone. It could be a big battle here. Not like Qatar, which is you know, a bit easy. Not like the Circle of America, so we had pace, but had a poor start. Not even like last time out, where we were comfortable enough in Argentina, as look at Lopez go. Not the second behind us. Here, we're very even on pace in general, so see what we can do in this race and normally as you've seen previously this season they speed up for the race uh, it's got Mino and Antone battling hard over sit we've got Napa uh, it's all about new Garcia wonder if he just Dab the brakes, even less than that. There's a gap half a second behind. But this is where we should pull the gap a bit. And it's flat out through the double right. Final corner, just be nice and gentle. Not trying to slide it in this time. That's one that down, seven to go. And we've got Suzuki Fanati behind us now. Lopez down to fourth. And for Guermino rounds out the top ten. I'm to Mino. Second off that, that. It's by McPhee and Vietti now. Such a tricky corner to break for that right hander going downhill all the way down the first as well. With his motor three bikes. Now yeah, to Jigo back now we've got C over 23rd. That's so ahead of Suzuki. There's a bit of power too for the back straight. It's power into the top 20 of the Suzuki. Uh, so I do have some issues with my left hand at the moment. That's why you've probably seen me steering in a bit wide on a couple of corners. Not sure if I pulled a muscle or something, but that's also why I didn't have a video up yesterday as well. Like I just rested it. So 
So I hope we can last this race. There's a gap. Round Alves are going to get into the final sector. As we have Suzuki behind us. Because for some reason I grip the control secure but kind of elusive from where I am. But it's very firm with the left hand. I have no idea why. There's Mazia and Vietti battling hard. Over 7th, has to do a 49 to lead the way. It's like 4 gear down to 5th. Behind Lopez now. As we've got Suzuki and behind in Antonelli Mazia. But it's going to pull away through this left hand. We seem to go flat, they don't. Like really easy flat as well, once again uphill. Camber kind of works with you a bit. Turning too tight there. That's why I was messing with the gears in the middle of the corner there. We've still got a gap on the Suzuki by and it's Mino ahead of McPhee for ninth. It's all a bit wide. Uh, to hold the brakes a bit longer there for the engine brake, and we braked a bit too late, look. It's all bike sliding wide everywhere at the moment. Let's get four tenths. Close it's been into the final sector for, for this race. Now to quickly approach an halfway mark of it. Uh, that's what's up the train I've had about us. Belgium have another poor race. And so let's unleash some power for this front stretch. And let's get into the 48s for the first time. Like our pace in the race isn't that hot. As Anthony so had a fig. Four gear now, four fifth. Not figure. I really can read with these glasses, can't I? We've got Italian to the top 30, or not. Cap almost a second behind the Suzuki. Okay, that seems to be a better way to deal with early apex syndrome now. To the right hand up. So you've got plenty of fuel in the tank as well. Always want to leave a bit of bit for the second half of the race. Uh, it's two for Batman with Alcoba for 16th. Looks like Japanese rider they're winning at the moment. See, I've got difficulty getting the bike into some right hand corners at the moment. On my hand here, shoot. Well, it's alright, generally through the left, but a couple right. Not as easy. Well, that final corner is pretty easy. Uh, so, yeah, and into the second half of this race. We're leading. But Anthony's on the chart. 48-6. Those are more than that times we expect. Mid 48. As McPhee runs out the top 10 by Mino. But being consistent around the 49 mark. Which is good enough at that moment. It doesn't seem like Suzuki's got the pace to battle us. There you go, that's better on X onto the back straight. As the sucking bin the battle over 20 seconds. You got South African winning that one. No, or not.
Uh, it doesn't seem the, fr the frames actually improved a lot for us, but hey, maybe without the frame improvements, it might be lower down on pace. Who knows? Probably would be. So maybe the frame improvements are now on us. Try and make this four in a row. Uh, oh my god, what was that? Again, right hand is told you. Uh, Sasaki back for 24 for Rodrigo. Or Cooney. So we need a good final set to then, as we've got almost a four second penalty there. And fast as that of the race for us, 48.7, that's much better. Need to let go of the brakes a bit earlier, though. Because that's uphill. Downhill, though. So I need to brake. Need to brake as hard, but again, let go of the brakes slightly earlier through that. There's our blind up to 14 out of Yamanaka. Uh, so we've got a gap of 8 tenths. About stretch. That's Rodrigo battling. Oh, Cooney is there, dropping down. He hoard it. Seems like Andre now interested in 27th. Oh, the gap remained the same for that second set. That's good to see. That's two bring to the point. So he's for a Japanese rider. Is this double right? We're losing time. Only a couple of tenths though. But then it's the fast right, so we gain time again. Like particularly this right hand, it seems like it's oh my god. Don't want to be in that curb like that. Needs a bit of power as we head towards the line. Oh, close to the fastest lap, 48.6 though. We're just getting better as this race goes on. That's Fernandez batting half off power lead. We're going to score some home points. It sounds like this is getting into the Argentina range where it's comfortable enough for us. So we're lapping very similarly, but it's consistent. Just as I say, that run massively wide. As he actually gained a tenth in that second sector. Chuck that away in a bit more. It's penultimate that up here. Just had to look up and make sure it was. There we go, got the power nice and early. Oh, you didn't see the gap just four tenths. Lots of fuel left behind, though. There we go, a bit wider for the right. Might smooth a ride. As they go on to the front stretch, get up to power two. Once again, 48 7 Suzuka with a 48 5. As he wants to find that a bit. Trying to apply some pressure onto us. That's Volga with a 48.5 as well. There we go, that's much better through there. Like if you break slightly earlier, like before it really goes downhill that corner, you can put smooth on the brakes. Break a bit less as well. That we did there.
As the gap is seven tenths, three quarters of a second. Two seconds. That was much better through there. It's got down to six tenths now. Looking at the fuel. We can afford to keep it on two for the rest of the lap, I think. Got seven tenths. I think we've got it. I think we've got that four tenth gap we need. Just one corner to go. And there we go, out of it. Foul towards the line, don't run out of fuel. As we set our fastest up as well. And victory again. Uh, so we make it 4th on 4, running by 9 tenths ahead of Suzuki and we did set the fast up in the final out once again, just like in Argentina, wasn't it? Uh, so we've got Fanati in third ahead of Lopez, just denied a home podium by a second as he was the 10th ahead of Antony, but superb ride on his Hasvana as we've got Foggia, Vietti, Mazia, a bit disappointing for the Spaniard down in 8th, Mino, McPhee ran out of top 10 of Arenas, Sanak, Agura, Arbolono and two were grabbing the final point ahead. It's very country by less than a second. As we've got Garcia around out the top 20, Tatai in 25th, and Jason in last. So we lead the championship by 37 points ahead of Fanati, who's just four points ahead of Mazia, who drops down to third. Suzuki up to four, three points ahead of Foggia, with Antony down in sit. Very disappointing for the Italian. For it, do much better. And you've got Lopez up to seventh. Four points ahead of Mino. And then Vietti McPhee to the top 10. As we also got Arenas, the big winner today, up four places. Well, Koba, big loser, down four to 17. First 19 riders have scored points. Rossi no longer last. As in the team's championship, Leopard lead the way by 11 points ahead of Max Racing, a single point ahead of GoPro Honda team. Then you've got Sync 58, VR 46. Snipers ahead of Petronius Spiritus, Red Bull KTM Io down a couple of places, same for Australia Galizia, Honda Team Asia now around out the top 10 of Angonietto and Grassini. This victory is the cherry on top of an exhausting weekend, if his team keeps working like this it will be really difficult for his opponents to overtake him. So looking at our reputation then, we're secure and we also got quite a lot of reputation from qualifying in the race once again. And then credits from the race, and almost four grand again. And we'll take that. Now, research data was pretty interesting around the race. It was actually a bit harder. So, distance analysis, as usual, good. Race simulation, get those five added laps was pretty difficult to not hit like the green stuff on the inside of the curves. Because you saw in the race, that's how we got our four tenth penalty. So, we would have added the lap. Quick that simulation though, we only got the first one. And see 49 flat, we were much quicker on the mediums because I stupidly left it on the softs. We have to just mount the suitable tyres. As we got decent research for the frame note. Once again, so... Yeah, that'll teach me. That's why I qualified on the mediums and it was much better, wasn't it? As uh, technical staff, so we've got new candidates. Who have we got? I don't know why you're still here, Oliver. As I break my will. Uh, so you got Delgado. you got Luigi. Rinaldi. He is not who we need. Maybe in Moto2. You, you can both be on the back burner with Oliver. Okay, and then CZ, you're just not good enough, mate. Don't look at me like that. As What about data analysis? Only Smith. Interested. Interesting to see. He's not really correlating with... How we're performing as a team. Like, we're winning on everything. Thought maybe it increased stuff, but it hasn't. And yeah, we'll keep the rail rounded knee for Mercia. So let's advance, shall we? Oh, that's when we can have our new component. Okay. And then heading to the Mon in France for the Shark Helmets Grand Prix de France. And see, so our engine has been developed, so we can develop the node. 
Or do we go for the exhaust manifolds? To facilitate medium speeds. That might be a bit more important. See it? You all get added. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I've added stuff. Okay. So do we have to... Yeah, we have to wait for the development of that. Okay. Oh, we can develop as well, but it's probably best not to. So we've got seven weeks. Is it worth maybe taking someone off this? Because how much is this adding to the research? Just having one person there. It might be better to take the week off and try and develop. Take the week off developing instead. Because no, we almost got the frame developed already. Just heading to the fifth round of the season. Oh, so someone noted in the comments, I forgot to do this before this race. I'm doing it after, though. Proportionate. Not realistic. Realistic is if we had real race setups being held, but proportional means over the race distance we've set. So it should be over the eight laps for France next time. Do apologise about that. I totally forgot to change it for this race, but... Let's see if it changes things next time. If we can, if our unbeaten run to start of the season will end in France next time. So, sound for watching, and we'll find out then.